let's go into that area we're going to go to the banking tab in the accounting view to do so and then we have the banking up top if you were in the business view by the way it would be in the bookkeeping area and then within the bookkeeping it's going to be in the transactions up top and then your transaction detail closing up the hamburger these are your cards showing the different financial accounts that have been connected the information down below here it is in our practice file where we have the banking tab i'm going to close up the ham boogie once again so we only have one card at this point in time we will have more cards when we add the credit card and possibly other items in future presentations remember there's two ways you can connect to the bank you can connect directly to the bank or you can or you can download the information from the bank and import it into the system we used the second way but either method that you use you'll end up with this this system right here where you have this information pulled in that has not yet been used to create the financial statements or to double check the creation of the financial statements in essence a kind of bank reconciliation tool which the bank feeds can be used as now bank feed limbo here can be a very scary place it can be a t intimidating because now we have all these transactions in here what do we do at this point in time and you don't want to be afraid of it it's okay they're already like in the promised land over here they just need to be given a little bit of love a little bit of more information to pull them over to the actual promised land of of you know the financial statement creation making the balance sheets and the income statement the primary thing they need is the account that they need to be assigned to as well as the customer and vendor or vendor which oftentimes we can get from the from the memo and as we do that we can create rules and as we create rules we're teaching the bank feeds in the future to know what to do without any more assistance to go right through bank feed limbo and on into the promised land automatically that's the goal all right so let's just take a look at this we've got our card up top you've got the drop down of the different accounts if you had multiple cards which is another way you could toggle through the cards this way and within the cards you have an, an editing item so you go to the editing item there if you needed to change something up there you've got your links so if you wanted to upload uh from file or manage connections or order the checks you've got the drop down here to do so now remember that these uh banking information is actually linked to a general ledger account so let's just show that real quick if i right click the tab up top and duplicate it so i can show this on another tab i'm going to pull it to the left and then I'm going to go down to our chart of accounts, which is located in the accounting tab. And then we've got our chart of accounts up top, closing the hand boogie. If you're in the business view, by the way, it's located in the bookkeeping tab and then the chart of accounts. And within the chart of accounts, we set up last time we had the checking account that was provided by Intuit. Uh, the cash account i mean and then we set up our checking account as the sub account you can see the indication here that it is uh linked up or is pulling information data from a financial institution in this case that has been uh imported you have the register the register is not the same thing as you know the bank feed limbo that we are looking at because this would represent the transactions that have already been entered into the into the system to help create the financial statements or double check them back to the bank feed limbo so we have that and then down below we've got for your review notice that all the transactions thus far are in this tab for your review as opposed to categorized or uh, excluded and that's because uh, QuickBooks doesn't know what to do with it yet we have to give the added information so if there's added information necessary QuickBooks is going to dump them in here which is the bank feed limbo area you're going to have to add that added information or verify the information that has been added and as we add the rules they will no longer be coming in here possibly to the limbo area or if they do all we'll have to do is like kind of click them off to add them because hopefully the information will be there because of the rules we set up and so then you've got your categorized uh, tab if they've been categorized excluded means that we're actually kind of deleting the transactions remember that this information is coming from the bank so you would think that we would not be deleting transactions unless something was incorrect coming from the bank so you want to be quite careful of of deleting or excluding transactions only doing so if you can tell if there's like a duplicate transaction otherwise if it came from the bank 
you would think it, it is, a, it is a, a solid transaction that we either have to match to something we entered into the system, helping us with the reconciliation process, or add it to the system because it's an actual financial transaction that took place that we need to record. So then if I hit the drop down here, we can sort by the dates. So we can sort the dates down below. We can use uh, the to from date. So if we're pulling in like a whole year's worth of data into bank feed limbo here, we might use different sorting options in order to populate that information. And that often could happen if you work as a bookkeeper or something, because sometimes people will come in and say, hey, I need to do my taxes. I don't have anything. I don't know what I'm doing. I just started my business, but I do have these this bank account, right? And so we might try to import a whole year's worth of bank accounts and try to upload them uh, as best we can to construct financial statements or something so that we can do whatever needs to be done, such as preparing the tax return or something like that. You can imagine a scenario like that happening. You've got this item where you can say uh, all transactions, recognized transactions. So those are ones where, they're, where the system kind of thinks it knows what to do with the transaction matched transaction if you're sorting by the matched transactions that's quickbooks saying hey look i think there's a transaction in your system already that has been recorded possibly from another bank feed another account such as a, a credit card account that's been attached to the bank or you entered a transaction such as a deposit form that you entered on your side or an expense form that we think matches so we would match it here we could sort by the items that the system feels are matches that it detects as a possible match transfers if there was a transfer that often happens between accounts like two check-ins accounts are set up so we can sort by transfer you wouldn't expect too many transfers to be uh, in place but when you're searching for those then uh, that can be applicable a uh, rule applied so you can search for the items that have a rule applied to it we're going to set up the rules later and then that can help you to kind of import them or or uh, finalize them quickly and then missing payee or a customer that's often one of the fields that are missing and sometimes people start to add transactions applying the required field of the account but they neglect to add the payee or payer or customer even though they can pull that or extract it from the memo data so if you've been doing that you probably want to go in here and add the payee and customer you might be able to easily do that by sorting by this item unassigned means it's, it hasn't yet been assigned so we're going to uh, sort by those items you can also search up top we have the search field you can take the tour you can go to the register this will take you to the related register so if you're not really sure like which account this this thing is tied to although it should be indicated